over the last uh, year and nine months, um, especially anybody who's been familiar with the App Store, a lot of what you'll see on video demos, which are become very essential to marketing on the App Store now, is a lot of over the shoulder. And you got the thumbs in there, and they're like, well, you know, if you tilt it this way, and then you can't see the screen, they're like, well, the character moves up. And if you, so there's a, a big problem with that. And one of my uh, friends uh, out in New Zealand, David Frampton, was uh, doing this video for a new version of this chopper game he's uh, coming out. And he went out and got like $3,000 worth of lighting equipment to get the lights <coughs> just right on the video. And I'm watching this tweet out all this stuff that, you know, it's just seen too difficult to do. <laughs> so I, uh, I started thinking of this uh, API that Erica Sudin originally discovered back before the SDK was public when she dumped all the frameworks as the uh, MM player output uh, API. And this is the uh, same exact uh, stuff that Apple uses for their demos when they're up on screen. We see the, the heavy function cords jump into the top of the iPhone. Everything that they're doing is being captured and rejected to the screen. So uh, I sat down and I wrote out this code that does the same thing for you. It's a static library. It's not open source. It's completely free of charge. So um, all you got to do is drop it into your app. There's three lines of code to initialize and start a video. Um, that's the gist of uh, what we're going to look at here. So I'll show you a couple of demos of that stuff, what it can do, uh, what the future holds for it, and things like that. The alert message that you're seeing here is just one of the flags for Apple. Um, you can't start video output without have an alert message that will basically beat down the App Store reviewer that says, if you ship this app, you're retarded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a little demo app that I uh, designed to uh, be able to handle just testing different functionality and things like that. You can see we have a little animated spinner down the corner. Currently, it's going at 10 frames per second. If I drag this down in real time, you can see that goes down to 2 frames per second. And we can bump it all the way up to about 25. And bring it up to 30 frames per second. And you see that it's starting to fight with it a little bit, that that's getting choppy. It's actually trying to output at 30, 29 frames per second, but it's fighting with the animation and it's causing the app to be choppy, not the output to be choppy. So we're going to take this back down to about 15 here. So um, you can see that you know, there's real time interaction with everything here, that we can play with the scale in real time, which is helpful when we have you know, widescreen TVs and stuff to make sure it fits the exact preferences of everything there. We can uh, freeze the frame, and then I can do whatever I want with the iPhone app. I can move you know, scaling around, change the frames per second, and unfreeze it again, and everything's updated. Um, another neat thing too is you can stop the uh, video output at any time you want. Do what you want to do in here without the user seeing what's going on. Um, there's future implementations of being able to post a, a default kind of picture up here for what's happening with it while it's frozen, and then you can restart it again in real time and bring it back up. Um, since it's running at app level, you can't get back out to home screen, but you can find out what actually is interacting at the app level, which is kind of interesting mm -hmm. that this screen is actually an app level screen as opposed to a uh, uh, OS screen there. Can you do rotate? We, we most certainly can rotate. And you gotta make sure you go the right <laughs> way. Hold Otherwise, on, I gotta get a video of that. That was incredible. Okay. <laughs> Just made my mind. Hold on. Can you rotate? <laughs> go the right way this time. There we go. And then you, know, you scale up to uh, make sure that you match the. Uh, <laughs> and as you can see, you do get the proper alert messages as they go down. Um, the clip in here is not caused by the, uh, the video output. That's actually my shoddy code that's not properly clipped, and you lose the bottom buttons. But again, it's just a, uh, a demo app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce out here. You can see the springboard for actually a couple of you know, split seconds there as the app's actually quitting. And then I'll go into an actual heavy set graphical game here. This is a, a game I just finished for a client a couple of weeks ago, and you can see that actually we can go in, and with the elements, we actually have you know, fairly fluid interaction for capturing demos and things of that nature. <laughs> Was that the correct answer you gave? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Seems awfully subjective. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. But um, that is DF Video Out. It is free on my website. You know, anybody's welcome to go ahead and do what they want with it. Um, as far as future implementations, at this point, I have complete control over the entire screen. Uh, the background color is being set by my code, so we can do Monty Python kind of things and blank multiple colors in the background. I'm working on uh, being able to get company logos in the upper left-hand corner, 
website addresses underneath the device. You can, you know, whatever you're presenting, you can have a website address, phone number, name in there. Um, we're working on getting the uh, silhouette of the uh, device that you're currently using, whether it be an uh, iPhone or an uh, iPod Touch around the, uh, the image. What's your website? Uh, sorry, dragonforge.com and uh, a Google search for DF video out should, uh, should pull it up as What's well. What's that neat cable? Uh, this actually are, um, there's two sets here that are sold by Apple. These are the standard cables that you would get to hook your iPod up to uh, play photo albums on your TV or video to your TV. So uh, there are some generic ones. I haven't tested them with the uh, generic stuff yet, but they should work just as uh, equally well. Um, you didn't have anything to do with that. Uh, I saw a racing game demo on a TV, etc. Yeah, yeah um, that was actually um, Daniel Bass. He, um, the, uh, you know, this uh, API has been uh, in the iPhone since 2.0, and uh, some people have worked with it before, and they've gotten some stuff going. The uh, primarily uh, difficulties that people saw with that is they couldn't intercept touches. So uh, that motocross demo is an accelerometer based game uh, with the, the library that we have here. It can intercept touches. The future implementation will have an option to show a bloom on the touch uh, so you can see what's going on. Um, unfortunately, the presenting with it is a little bit too easy to look at the, uh, the projector and not the device and it becomes extremely hard to figure out where your touch is. <laughs> it's, yeah, focus on the uh, device. But um, the, uh, the work for it was based off of those original concepts. Uh, none of that code had ever been made public, so it was you know, just some extra research and hacking and getting it up and going and then just tossing it out there and see what happened with it. Did Apple tell you to send any closed source or was that your decision? Uh, that was my decision. Okay. Um, part of it to make Apple happy that the flags remain in there. There are several flags, both public and private, like the alert message and private flags that will alert uh, app reviewers that this code has been bundled with it, um, with the uh, the shipping app that mm -hmm. will prevent the app from shipping. Um, because Apple obviously doesn't want you, you know, write your game and then hook you up to a TV and suddenly you have this cool little remote, you know, Wii remote yeah, yeah. thing. Because you know, accelerometer based touch input and make a you know fun little video game remote. And Apple at this time isn't really interested in that. So um, these are second gen device or second gen touch devices I was demoing on. On the uh, 3GS, you can really scream along with it. 